least in discussing the possibility of a base tax. And, and I only rise right now, although I know where the vote is going, um, because I don't think this issue is done. It, it comes back every couple of years, and frankly, every couple of years, uh, it gains one or two more votes at this table. So it's coming back. Probably not tomorrow or at budget time, but it'll come back. And so I want to just say, and, and frankly, I'm interested in, in everybody's perspective here at the table, and I'm interested in, in the points that were made by some of my colleagues and, uh, and the administration. But I just want to say, but uh, there's a couple things that, that frustrated me. One, it's, it's unfortunate that Mr. Smith-Windsor is not here because uh, I don't actually agree with the statement that was made earlier that the Chamber of Commerce said this was a bad idea. I believe the concern that was issued by the Chamber was whether there would be a flat ta a, an increased flat tax applied to businesses uh, versus residential property, or they were concerned about that potential being there. And it, it prob that potential probably is there, frankly. But uh, that was more their concern as opposed to, I don't, I don't think they, it's fair to say that there was a blanket rejection by that organization. And, you know, w again, when this debate comes up, we'll let the Chamber speak for themselves on that point. The issue uh, that His Worship brought, and, and, I, and I guess the second point I wanted to make was, well, I appreciate the information in the administrative report, and I understand that the administration is recommending the ad valerum system. I did take issue with some of the, the wording and the points that were made in the administrative report. Um, I understand that the administration often makes recommendations to us, but I do uh, typically uh, typically count on a, a fairly good unbiased report that comes forward, but I, I felt in this instance there was just some really broad statements made that that I didn't know that were necessarily as neutral as they as it could have been to allow the councillors to properly weigh the information. And when I look at the four points that were made, uh, one of them his worship brought up is property taxes is cited to be as a regressive system relative to income. A base tax could be viewed as being more regressive. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I think we've got differing opinions on that particular statement. But I want to be clear that that can't just be raised as an absolute shield to everything around here either. If we took it to its max, we, we have adopted the philosophy at this table on some um, services the city provides a, a, as a user pay system. Uh, we don't say when you, when you buy a leisure service pass or a... a uh, you know, you want to put your kids in swimming lessons and things. Unless you're in that low income zone where we offer special passes, we don't say uh, show us your income tax return before you, and then we'll decide what you pay to go into uh, into the leisure center or some of our levy rates on stormwater or, or things like that. So that is not a shield. I mean, this council is entitled to uh, develop a philosophy of user pay. And... Um, and it's entitled to have that discussion and entitled to have that debate. Uh, we don't have the luxury of obtaining income information the same way the province and the federal government does. And so I think, it, while it's not gained the majority of support at this table right now, it, we are entitled to have a legitimate discussion on user pay. And some councillors will feel that roadways and road maintenance are user pay and some don't. And, and both sides are entitled to that opinion. But I, I think that we need to be able to have a, a frank discussion about that. The other concern I had is, is in number four, point number four, if I can call it in here, is uh, taxing scenarios should not influence the marketplace with the introduction of base tax. There's less emphasis on a value of a property and more emphasis as to what is a parcel slash property. Uh, I have two concerns with that. The first is I, I, well, there may be some more emphasis on what is a parcel or property. Frankly, again, uh, there's also an emphasis on the user pay philosophy and that the, the mere mention of that is, is non-existent in this report. And I think we need to acknowledge that that's what drives some people favoring uh, a base tax system is the user pay philosophy. And again, you don't need to agree with it or disagree with it, but let's acknowledge that it exists and let's acknowledge that we run some of our services and systems at city, through the city as a user pay. Um, 
And the other taxing scenario should not influence the marketplace. This really uh, actually sort of um, frustrated me because the, it, it seems to imply that uh, a user pay system is the only taxing scenario that influences the marketplace. And frankly, all taxing scenarios influence the marketplace. And the fact that the city doesn't acknowledge that in this report is what really frustrates people about governments. And uh, in particular, what, frust what frustrates business about governments. All taxing scenarios influence the marketplace. Uh, and the fact that we're sort of, um, implying in this report that uh, a base tax is, um, is uh, somehow going to be primarily responsible for influencing the market and uh, an ad valorem system is not, it, it doesn't matter. Businesses look at the bottom line, whether they're paying property tax through uh, ad valorem or, they, or they're paying property taxes through base tax or a combination of thereof. They look at the gross amount that they're paying and they make business decisions on that. So all taxing policy influences the marketplace. It's, we cannot uh, cherry pick one over the other saying one is more, um, I guess negative than the other. And so I just hope that the next time this debate comes, because I'm confident that it will, that we uh, have all of the uh, facts and uh, uh, I guess the facts and, and some, some more information in front of us so that we are all um, debating, I guess, from, the, from an appropriate level of information and, and not just, just one side, frankly. All right, that being said, there are no lights on. The question is called, all those in favor?